The optical microscope is an instrument that allows us to see objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. We can identify three types of components in a microscope – light source, lenses, structural or mechanical items. Next, we will describe the different parts of the microscope from the bottom to the top. The first element we find is the base. It is a support element wide and heavy enough to prevent the instrument from losing its stability and falling down. The frame, which is also called arm, is another structural element of the microscope. It is located next to the base and supports other important elements of the microscope. The arm allows us to grasp the microscope safely for transport. The stage is located on the arm of the microscope. It is the surface where the preparation that we want to observe will be placed. And what is the preparation that we are going to observe with the microscope? It is composed of three elements. This light is a rectangular piece of glass with a thickness of one millimeter on which the sample is deposited. The sample is the biological material that we want to observe. It is usually a histological section, although we can also observe free cells or another objects. The corpus lip is a rectangular piece of really thin glass, about 150 microns. It is deposited on the sample, covering it and preserving it from the external agents that could deteriorate it. To place the preparation on the stage and hold it, we can make use of the specimen holder that has a couple of clamps. When the clamps are closed, the preparation is fixed on the stage. The specimen holder is the metallic piece that holds the preparation and is also used to move it. On one side of the microscope, there are two knobs controlling X and Y movement of the mechanical stage. This allows us to place the preparation in the desired position. The stage usually has a nonius. It is a kind of ruler to determine coordinates of interest in the sample with a precision of about 100 microns. It makes it easy to locate the same view in later observations. On the side of the microscope are adjustment knobs. These kinds of screws serve for moving the stage vertically up and down in order to focus the sample. The two knobs are concentric. The outer one is the coarse focus knob. It makes large displacements of the stage. The inner one is the fine focus knob and serves for carrying out slice displacements of the stage. That is why it is used for focusing the sample with great precision. Let's look at the base again. On it, there is an element of great importance, the light source. It contains a lamp which emits white light. When you turn the power switch on and adjust its intensity, the light will be projected upwards, penetrating the condenser lens. However, before reaching the condenser lens, the light must pass through two elements. The first one is the light filter. The filter absorbs the excess of radiation from certain colors and improves the appearance of the projected image. Just before the condenser lens, we find the diaphragm lever. The diaphragm, or iris, is the instrument that regulates the amount of light that impinges on the sample. It is formed by a series of overlapping flat plastic plates. Thanks to a lever, the diaphragm opens and closes in a circular way, allowing the control of the light input. The condenser is the first one of the three lenses of a conventional optical microscope. This lens does not magnify the image. Its function is to condense the light from the lamp and project it through the sample. The image then reaches the second lens, also known as objective lens. The microscope has many objective lenses. Each one is included in a dark cylindrical chamber called tube. All of them are included in a piece of the microscope called nose piece, which is able to rotate manually in order to select the most adequate lens for each observation. The first objective lens 
the one with the shortest tube provides a magnification of fourfold the image size. The second objective lens with a longer tube provides tenfold. The third objective lens produces 40-fold magnification. And the last lens produces 100-fold magnification. In order for the image of the sample to be visible by the observer, the chosen lens must be aligned with the condenser lens. The last structural element of the microscope is the head. It includes one or two eyepieces, articulated in an eyepiece tube, depending on whether the microscope is monocular or binocular. The eyepiece tubes can be displaced laterally, so they adapt to the distance between the observer's eyes. Each eye lens produces tenfold magnification.